The Full Code Pro 3.0 mobile application is the American Heart Association's new CPR event tracking tool. Full Code Pro allows you to quickly document critical interventions during cardiac arrest resuscitation events. The app is available for use on an iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch and is free for download in the App Store. The code screen will appear when you open the app. At the top of the screen, the blue Start button begins the code timer. When the Start button is pressed, the button label changes to Stop. During the code, the code timer displays the elapsed time since the code began. The code timer will stop when you press the blue Stop button in the upper right. The activity log in the bottom half of the app captures the length of the code as well as the activities during the code. The light green Start CPR button starts the CPR timer, which is directly beside the Start CPR button. When the button is pushed, the color will change to red and the text will change to Pause CPR. When you press the Pause CPR button, the button color will change back to green and the label will change to Restart CPR. If CPR is paused for more than 10 seconds, the color of the numbers on the CPR timer will change to red. When you touch the Restart CPR button, the CPR timer will restart at zero. The shock timer will start when the code begins and displays the elapsed time before or between defibrillation attempts. Selecting the red shock button resets the shock timer. The number of shocks administered is displayed on the far right of the shock button. Selecting the yellow epinephrine button will start the epinephrine timer. When you touch this button again, the timer restarts. The number of times that epinephrine has been administered is shown on the far right of the button. The gray Other Medications button on the left side of the app will pull up a list of medications. When you touch a medication that you have administered, that medication appears in the activity log below. The dark green rhythm button pulls up a list of rhythms. By selecting the appropriate rhythm, you add that data to the activity log. The purple event button displays a list of possible interventions and devices that might be used during a code. When you select one, it is recorded in the activity log. Selecting the brown ROSC button adds ROSC, or Return of Spontaneous Circulation, to the activity log. You can tailor your app to better meet your needs in several ways. For instance, you can delete a medication, rhythm, and or event in those lists of your app. In the Other Medications list, touch Edit in the top right corner. Then touch the red Delete button to the left of the medication and the Delete button on the right. The medication will be permanently deleted from your app. You also can add choices in the existing medications rhythm, and event sections. So if you would like to add a medication to your list, go into the Other Medications section. Touch Other at the bottom of the list. A dialog box appears and you type in the name of the medication. You can also add specific doses of medications such as amiodarone 5 mg. Your additions will become a permanent part of the lists on your app. The lists can also be reordered in these sections. While in one of these lists, touch Edit at the top right, then touch the three-line icon to the far right of the item that you want, and hold it. The selected item will become active and can be dragged to your preferred location. Then touch Done at the top right. The activity log on the lower part of the code screen will display all interventions and activities during the code. They are listed in the first column. The second column is the elapsed time since the start of the code. The third column is the real time as it appears on your device for the intervention or activity. When you stop a code, you are given two choices. Cancel will return you to the code screen. Yes will then ask you a series of questions. First, you may enter the defibrillator time, which pertains to the actual time that is displayed on the defibrillator. There is more information about this in the app's FAQs. You will then be asked for a patient identifier. 
If you do not enter an identifier, you can still move forward by touching No. Next, you'll be asked to enter the name of the team leader. Finally, you'll be asked the name of the recorder. It is not mandatory to enter these names. At the termination of a code, the Full Code Pro app will create an email with a summary of the code in plain text in the email body and as an attached CSV file. The patient ID, if used, will only be in the body of the email. Next, you add the email address that you want to use and press Send in the upper right corner. If you instead touch Cancel in the upper left, you will be given the option to delete or save your draft. Then you will go to the code screen, which has been cleared. When you are out of a code, there are features at the bottom of your screen. The navigation bar allows you to switch between the code screen, code logs, and the more screen. The far left button takes you to the code screen. When you touch the middle code log button, you will see that all log files are kept here. You can review and delete log files at any time, but cannot revise them. Code log files can only be shared by email. The log files will remain on your device unless you have emailed them. To send a previous code log from the list of logs, touch the log that you wish to send, touch the arrow in the upper right, then hit email. Enter the address in the dialog box and send. According to the 2010 AHA guidelines for CPR and ECC, chest compressions should not be interrupted for more than 10 seconds. That is why the CPR timer is set for 10 seconds before it changes color. You can adjust that time frame. To adjust, first touch the More button at the very bottom of your screen when you are out of a code. On the next screen, you'll see CPR Timer or CPR Alert Timer. Press the plus or minus button to modify this time. There are other valuable functions in the More section. There are helpful frequently asked questions. You can scroll down to see more questions and answers. You can create a default email address from this page. Enter the email address, then press Save Settings. Also, click on the big red block to get linked to a web page with more information about AHA programs and courses. Using this real-time app to log your actions can improve the availability and accuracy of documentation of a resuscitation event. You have robust data for review, debriefing, and resuscitation quality improvement. When lives are at stake, don't settle for less. Insist on quality training from the leader in emergency cardiovascular care, the American Heart Association.